2019 J1 season is beyond the halfway mark. It's the 18th round of matches as we move into the summer. And, uh, humid conditions mixed with a bit of rain, a bit of sun here and there. Shimizu S Pulse here at the IAI Stadium Nihon Daira hosting Vissel Kobe as 12th plays 11th in J1. to defeat to Sagantosu away from home in their last game for the host today. A couple of goals from Fernando Torres proving decisive. Incredible drama for the visitors Vissel Kobe. They were 5-3 the winners at home to Nagoya Grampus despite being pegged back on three occasions and getting a couple of late goals. Two from uh, Iniesta Two from David Villa, one from Kejiro Ogawa, who came off the bench and uh, might well do the same again today because it's an unchanged team for Torsten Fink, both on the field and uh, on the bench. In possession, Dankler. Puts that one away, but uh, quick recovery from the Number 33, who's looked really like a great addition to the Vissel Kobe team. Yamaguchi to Iniesta. Indispensable Yamaguchi with a, a really nice idea to play that towards Villa. Arriving in support is Hatsuse. Wellington to control. It certainly seems to be the case that Torsten Fink has had a real impact upon Vissel Kobe. As Wellington tries to nod that on, it's gone to Via, back to Wellington. Chance for Gorke to play it through and was looking for Kyogo Furuhash. Nishi. Furuhashi. All the way at the back, Daiki Mia. Vision has Dan Clare for a diagonal ball like that sort of thing. On the subject of vision. Wasted though by Yamaguchi and a counter-attacking chance for the home side. On the overlap is number 17, Yosuke Kawai. He's got plenty of space to cross, not too many options. Still alive with Nishizawa. Renato Augusto. to El Sino, another key provider for the S-Pulse. Hakuchi. Sinu sees off Gorke. Kawai is the uh, only change from the starting 11 that faced Sagantosu. He's in for Shota Kaneko. Wellington going down. Did get a little bit of a whack from Hiroshi Futami. Not sure if it was the ball or the foot that did the most uh, damage, really. This is fourth game in charge, Torsten Fink. Manager who took over from uh, Takuya Yoshida. 
who in turn had taken over just a couple of months before that from Juan Manuel Leo. It has been a time of great change for Vissel Kobe, a much fancied team. A team that has not thus far been able on the field of play to really match their resources. Yet the signs are promising. To say with a nod away, might well be a foul, and it is Kawai on Roque. Twenty-nine-year-old Yosuke Kawai, graduate of the Keio University in Tokyo, which is Japan's oldest university, and opened uh, as a school of Western studies in 1858. Around that time, a few decades afterwards, that the sport of association football really started to become something that was played in Japan. It was a naval commander that uh, introduced it at uh, an academy in Tokyo. students in between drills. This time it is Kawai who is fouled by Hatsuse. who hasn't gone through the collegiate system, Hatsuse. Went through the uh, Gamba Osaka youth team. He's only 21 and a lot of first team experience already. Kitagawa. It's a good play from Kitagawa. If he can hold this up. Nearly. It's uh, made its way anyway to call Matsubara. It's likely to be a foul. Just to hook the leg a little bit as he was uh, recovering the ball and then rather bundled over Furuhashi. Young player, Matsubara, just uh, 22 and from Hamamatsu, which is very close to the city of Shimizu. Via trying to control from Wellington's flick on, but they've uh, wrestled that ball back nicely from him. What happened against Nagoya Grampus was uh, David Via just kept getting in behind the last defender, they afforded him far too many one-on-one -on -one situations. And even though Villa is uh, at the senior stage of his career now at 37, he still has the pace and skill to uh, beat players one-on-one. Jean -on -one. Schmidt, a particularly unpleasant time. Wellington Furuhashi. Could be that uh, Wellington is the key player in holding up the ball for David Villa. Looking perhaps to free Furuhashi to get the cross in. Dankler takes no chances. By Tami first instance he's got to recover here now here's Via with overlapping support from Wellington Via goes inside space to play this one out for Gorke 
Hatsuse not over. Hatsuse. Via. Tried to knock it to Iniesta and uh, slightly overworked. As Renato Augusto doesn't manage to relieve the pressure long term. Iniesta, what a lovely idea that is. Offside against Wellington, but you can see the plan. Wasn't that far away from being very well charged. He was just leaning ahead of the play. Number 17. Scored five goals already this season. was looking for a foul. Senior again. Is it two Kitagawa? Just can't get through the defence. Here comes the break. Wellington with uh, the first forward from Furuhashi that's had to be slightly delayed. Well read by Huang. Douglas. Uh, many opportunities to involve himself in the game so far in this first 10 minutes or so. Goals now in the league. To that brace against Grampus. And there, the site of the rather interesting partial covering on the stand, the uh, Ondaira Stadium. It goes about two thirds of the way along the uh, side of the pitch. Douglas, advantage played. Tsubara. Another go here against Nishi. of Furuhashi this time. He's been so impressive, El Sinio. Very fine addition to the Espols team. Legend has it that uh, the reason for that uh, stand does not cover the distance of the wing is that it allows for Beautiful, unobstructed views of Mount Fuji. It's a lovely story. It isn't true, but it's still a lovely story. <laughs> Real reason, unfortunately, is a, a slightly more prosaic one. There's an access road, a very important access road behind the stand that uh, would have to be demolished in order to uh, make the cover go the full length. One should never let facts get in the way of a good story. Uh, 
to say. It's like to try to get forward down the left wing and provide crossing opportunities. is often the case with Vissel Kobe. There's a degree of patience to what they do. Just waiting and holding the ball in the midfield to try to get him free. Happy to loft things over the top, especially from Iniesta and from Dangler. It's Furuhashi. He offers that different sort of threat of pace in the final third. But I suppose one would use the old uh, adage that has been used about the great goal scorers over the years, which is the first uh, five or ten yards are in their head. He has certainly has demonstrated that on so many occasions this season. to say advanced a lapse of possession from the captain Kitagawa has it good overlap from Matsubara provided Shizawa will return the favour rather tame in the end for Dancler Really good play from Wellington. Made something out of nothing with that nod on. So back to to say it's well won back by Furuhashi nearly poked it through to Villa Douglas against Dankler Dankler does enough just to stall the move forwards it's called seven goals this season Will it run to Kitagawa? It'll come back to Douglas. So Douglas might have released the ball a touch earlier, either to Kitagawa or Matsubara. Seem to have the clearest sight of goal. Courtesy of Daiki Mia coming across. Wellington, even for him, that was asking a bit much. He's won it back. Almost. <laughs> it's 
Coutinho. Iniesta. Shooting chance, it'll be Hotaru Yamaguchi. So say wants it and finally receives. Discipline shape being adhered to by the S Pulse. The two sides that have undergone managerial changes recently with Yoshiyuki Shinoda taking over from Jan Jönsson back in May. As a result, they've both been in better form, really. You often see it, don't you? The uh, instant impact of a new manager. Sometimes that's worth the risk alone. Especially when it looks as though you might be getting into a relegation battle. They've been there or thereabouts, Vissel Kobe. Just hovering above what could be considered to be relegation threat, whereas the S Poles actually found themselves bottom match day 13, not for the first time this season. Kim knocks it forwards. Wellington read well by Huang Xiaoko, but David Villa gets it back. Turns nicely. Shooting chance is very well blocked by Ko Matsubara. Looked like that might be number 10 in the league for Villa. Having done the work to cut it out, Wang couldn't then keep control of the ball. It was a lovely little turn from Villa right here. Gorgeous play. And an equally gorgeous block from Matsubara. rather concrete proof of skill being sometimes more important than pace. Enthusiastic chance of El Signo ringing out around the Nihon Daido Stadium. This pulse were delighted to have acquired a player of his caliber. And, uh, two consecutive years in the J League, best 11 at the end of season. Significantly, he would say. Two J1 championships to accompany those awards. He's a man who very much works for the team first and foremost. Very clever player. Kim sung -yu. for Vissel Kobe in the 2014 World Cup. Very good year internationally in 2014, Kim, along with that he won Asian Games gold. Now Furuhashi loses out to Renato Augusto. Really good play from Douglas. He's got the advantage and he's got a bit of space. Oh, he's still going. Douglas passes the ball and it's put in. 
for the opening goal of the game by Koya Kitagawa, but the first thing he does is run straight over to Douglas and say, how on earth did you do that? It's Shimizu Espols 1, Vissel Kobe 0. Kitagawa the goal scorer, but Douglas the architect. Fantastic that he managed to somehow keep control of that ball. There's no doubt that Kitagawa is on side, and it's a really good finish too from the number 23. It's his sixth goal of the season, but it's that man who is the key player in this move. No opportunity for Kim. What a lovely pass with the outside of the left foot. That's a, a vain appeal for offside. Not a chance. That's what you call teamwork. Virtuoso moment of the 31-year-old from Moros in Brazil to provide for the local lad from Shizuoka City. Him. We ought to have got that ball away from him a couple of times. Douglas had it glued to his feet for a moment. is fouled. Not really any doubt about that, Iniesta straight away with the hands up in apology. He's had a big impact himself so far this season with a couple of very late winning goals last month. Big jump on Douglas. Senior as well to keep it from Furuhashi. Loads it and uh, Dankler with a powerful leap of his own. Hashi turns well. Via, it's suddenly broken through to David Via, and just like that, he's equalised. Switch off for a moment at your peril when he's there. Pulse one, Vissel Kobe one, and David Villa does what David Villa does. Just left a little bit of space for him to come through. El Sino was slightly far back by maybe half a foot. That's all it took for Furuhashi to loft it through. And what quickness of footwork from David Villa this is. One touch, but here's the magic, two, three, there. From right to left in an instant. Anguish on the face of the S-Pulse fans behind the goal. How he got away from Huang, a 
only he will know. Nishibe does the right thing trying to cut that ball out. So just three minutes the lead lasts as uh, Douglas tries to poke it towards Kitagawa. One apiece here at the IAI Stadium, Nihon Daira. Ourselves. Jolly entertaining game now. Really, two goals categorized by splendid vision and virtuosity in tandem. Much credit must be given as well to a young Kyogo Furuhashi for spotting Via's run. Kawai on to Douglas, a little bit uh, powerful. Monsignor. Can certainly deliver from this position. And Subara. Surely cross. Oh, leaping was Takeuchi. Goal scorer Kitagawa. Time it goes to Renato Augusto, who scored in the defeat to Sagantosu. The goal that uh, made it 2 2. Freed is El Senior. by Dan Clare because Douglas was waiting for that ball to reach him. Shizawa comes over to uh, offer a friendly pat on the back. Furuhashi says now's not the time to be friendly. It's a few seconds ago. Yes, that's uh, fairly clear cut, isn't it? And he knows it as well. features though of the J League is that when challenges like that come in usually the player who's fouled and the player who has been fouled are quick to make amends and offer a sporting handshake to each other not all the time but <laughs> most of the time One all when these two sides met in Kobe on the 17th of March. Courtesy of his goal in the 29th minute, it's one all here.
another mid-table season await both of these teams. Two of them start to capitalise on what has been decent form lately and push up towards the top half. He's a man who has spent a large part of his career towards the top end of the table. for Tummy. His ninth game this season. Played many times last season, did uh, for Tummy. He's got to keep a really close eye on Bia. Sabara. Just a touch of miscontrol. He knows it was the right ball, though. runs in and out of trouble all in the space of a second Dankler will get across to deny Hidegawa has won each of the three domestic cups once, too. And Senior might get it back. Oh, he might still get it back. Just flapped at that a touch, did Mia. Sabala goes inside and uh, was hoping to see that ball come back to him. Oh, here's Wellington. Does he go it alone? Does he use Villa? Looks like he's going it alone, or is he? Villa! Oh! Expected him to hit the target. Strong Wellington.
completed his 200th appearance in all competitions for the team. Into Nishizawa. Goalkeeper thinks about coming and end leaves it to his teammates. Nicely played actually from Wellington. Have space. Additional danger man. Subara. Senior. Kawai floats it in the direction of Kitagawa. Back at the moment that saw the home side take the lead in the 26th minute. Going for Yoshiyuki Shinoda. And then, just three minutes later, David Villa with an exquisite touch. Torsten Fink happy. Whatever happens in the next few minutes, it's game very much alive as we head into the second half. Yes, just a touch heavy. have to go touchline to touchline so often El Senor the uh, conditioning to do it and to last the whole game mounting interest in Koya Kitagawa from uh, so many clubs it's been that way really for the entire season get to uh, peak transfer time as well for European teams. Your scouts are turning up to watch Koya Kitagawa. Takeuchi made his debut for the S Pulse. Team since 2009. And he is fouled by Kyogo Furuhashi. It's a very clear tug of the shirt, isn't it, on Takeuchi? Pulse fans and players thought that should have been a caution. Iniesta. Just giving away rather silly, silly free kicks, and this time it will be a yellow card for Furuhashi. And Komatsubara is rather cross about it too. Furuhashi knows that really it's just a case of one too many. 
Sabalo did uh, thump the turf in irritation after that challenge. As he knows it was the correct decision. No complaints. It's very much the trailing left arm of Furuhashi that seems to be what irritated Matsubara. Nishizawa. Get away, as is often the case, by Wellington. Furuhashi had the chance to really make that uncomfortable for the S Pulse. Wang, very far forward and staying forward as this may well come in now from El Signor. And it is very nearly another goal, Koya Kitagawa. Rather unexpectedly, this made it all the way through to him. Tried to flick it on, Huang Siokho, who came right the way through from the defence and one through the legs of Dan Clare and had certainly beaten Kim. seventh goal of the season and no change to the score with the last attack of the first half is equalizer entertaining first half at the IAI Stadium Nihon Daira oh yeah Kiragawa followed by David Villa two goals in three minutes and it means that it is Shimizu S Pulse one Vissel Kobe one at the halftime interval Second half gets underway here in Shimizu. Yes, Pulse hosting Vissel Kobe. The game deadlocked after an entertaining first half with a fair few opportunities, but really marked by two players and moments of very high individual skill. One of them the scorer, one of them the provider. Douglas, the provider, setting up Koya Kiragawa. And then a few minutes later, in the 29th minute, the moment of individual brilliance came from the goal scorer, David Villa, after a very fine pass from Kyogo Furuhashi, who probably has been told by his manager to calm down a touch at half time. No changes to either side. goes out to Daigo Nishi. Iniesta, Furuhashi, Otaru Yamaguchi now receive the ball back from his captain. Sun beginning to set, obscuring the uh, rather lovely mountain view that one gets in the Nihon Daira Stadium. The home of the S Pulse since the launch of the J League in the 1993 season. Also hosted uh, a lot of collegiate sport back in the day. The All Japan High School Athletics Championships used to be held here. closeness of the fans to the pitch. Welcome 
controlled by Nishi. Moves on to Kyogo Furuhashi. It's a very difficult one of the back post. Had Nishibe really in two minds. Wellington appreciative. Horrible ball this from Furuhashi for the goalkeeper to have to contend with. Right over the top and uh, a very important header behind from Huang Sioko. Niesta, give a gower away. Get another go though, the veteran. Oh, Dankler was close. It was Matsubara who got the final touch. certainly was and how important he's uh, been hurt as well two incredibly key interceptions from the corner kicks right at the start of this second half. Will it be a case of third time lucky? from the corner for the visitors. Has to go short this time. Again, the goalkeeper is caught. And again, they can't put the ball in. It's another really important piece of defending. It's actually Wellington who gets the final touch, but Renato Augusto was uh, maybe just... No, it was actually Renato Augusto who made contact with that ball. So first Huang, then Matsubara, then Renato Augusto. On each occasion, legitimately, one would have to say, preventing an almost certain goal. Then the free header in the end for Wellington. Oh, he wants it again. Took a long time to cultivate this clear opportunity. those brave defensive actions from Huang, from Matsubara, from Renato Augusto as a key point, a key junction in this match. Really did handle the pressure of those four corner kicks so well, albeit with the uh, caveat that all of that great work could have been undone by Wellington fourth time of asking. Niesta, who's had two goals against Grampus, helped the team to that 5-3 win and came as a lovely cherry on the top of the cake for a man who'd had a, a very splendid week anyway. The most important thing in that week, not that game, but the birth of his fourth child. Marked by the traditional cradling the baby celebrations that uh, we have grown to love in football over the years. Mia flicks it back to Wellington. Good positioning from Nishibe. Touch 
fortunate. And it's Shemaine that it ran all the way through to Matsubara. Yamaguchi, possibly the least mentioned and discussed member of the Vitel Kobe team over the course of a 90 minutes. He's a man who fulfills the unsung hero brief. Such an important holding player that he can be. A very good positional sense as well. Now this one goes. Shizawa waits for the option from Matsubara that makes life difficult for the defence. But uh, Yamaguchi made the right call to stay with Nishizawa. He's possibly hoping there, Nishizawa, that Matsubara might draw the defender away. Nato Augusto will surely cross. He will. And it's all the way through unexpectedly to Koya Kitagawa. And it's a very good save from Kim. a series of instalments for Renato Augusto's cross to get to the number 23. It uh, comes off Kawai. A combination of Kawai and uh, Mia. And what a key save that could turn out to be from Kim sung -gyu. with the corner in front of the home fans and Kim decent palm away kept him play well Kitagawa goes for it they've done wonderfully to keep possession some of the fans are still celebrating that strike from El Senio as it nestles into the side netting but only now just realised not a goal but this is supreme play to keep hold of the ball and what vision from Kitagawa as El Senio kept his run going and would suspect that Kim had it covered had it been on target towards Douglas. Dan Clare, dangerous ball. Douglas, in the end, uh, put off sufficiently by Daiki Mia. There are little gaps starting to emerge now for the S-Pulse. Moments of questionable decision making defensively from the visitors. There's a rather key example of it. Tsubara, who scored in that very important win against the Malinos. Crosses. Kim does well. Okay, but not a chance against Renato Augusto. Joined from Palmeiras. spells the easiest team in the world to break into Palmeiras made his way all the way through from the youth team taking his pulse number 22 
explores his options. That's a chance, surely, to get across in here. Well, unusual. Timmy Esther to get the right weighting on that pass. He's won everything you can win. Lightly counter, except uh, Japanese competition, which is why he's come here. That's won a trophy in Japan, though. That was the Club World Cup in 2011. save earlier from Kitagawa. Wellington has Furuhashi coming through. Again, the weight on the pass, not quite right. Furuhashi will fight hard for it. Important fight as well, even though he doesn't win the ball, they keep possession. to exploit yes pulse on the counter attack Suse may have taken it too far he didn't actually manage to get the cross in somehow just though he'd run out of pitch now Douglas dangerous from here Faces Dan Clare, a lot still to do, too much to do. team that won the Club World Cup in 2011. Santos. And handsomely as well, four goals to nil. That's the same. Nishi, Urahashi will go down the line. Instead, just plays it short to Iniesta. Oh, he's done very well there as Douglas. Once again, they can't get the ball off him. Still Douglas, and he goes down. The only way that they can dispossess him is with a foul. And Dan Clare will get a yellow card. about it is Dan Clare. Thinks Douglas went over very easily. Picked himself up after the first challenge. Well, there's no doubt he's got hands coming across the body of Douglas. There are those who will say Douglas went down easily, but it's all rather immaterial if you start pulling at a player like that was likely to give away the free kick and indeed the yellow card. Renato Augusto looks like he fancies this. so far for the S-Pulse. Subado also to be involved in some capacity. Five in the 
ball. For West Coles players too. Renato Augusto tries to place it and is well read by Kim. Positive spell for the Espols. Iniesta to Wellington. Got a lot of work to do, Wellington. And that's a great covering challenge by the hard working Matsubara. players on the bench they could bring on as well as uh, Takauchi has possession. The likes of Yutataki, the S-Pulse, who has already scored a couple of times from being a substitute. And indeed Keijiro Gawa for Kobe, who did that in the last game. Shota Kaneko, the bench S pulse should uh, they wish to bring him on to offer a wide option. Nishizawa, Takeuchi is forward, Douglas is there as well. Douglas lays it off, rather wasted. Tsubara. Douglas. He's looking for the touch on. Challenge actually from Huang, really did swipe into the knee of David Villa. It's no stranger to the occasional yellow card. And another one. to give Wellington the space. Wellington complaining of a foul by Hinato Augusto. This with an attempted flick on to Takeuchi, who's starting to get a little bit more forward. Just always looks dangerous though, Douglas, no matter what position he finds himself in. Hawaii trying to play in Takeuchi. to launch this. Actually for Tami. Oh, the hands as dried off as possible. Telling them get back, here it comes. Here it does come. Oh, what a throw that is! From Hiroshi for Tami all the way through to Douglas, who gets his goal. And that's as good as a corner kick.
Well, it was a, a theatrical build-up from Hiroshi Futami as he dabbed away at the ball and dried his hands off, and it was all worth it because that was a superb use of a throw-in. What a delivery from Futami to Douglas. It's as well placed as any cross you'll see. And a great leap too from Douglas. Might have taken a touch off Daiki Mia. Hard to tell, but it's very well placed by Douglas. I think actually Mia doesn't get a touch on it. He does. It's his eighth of the season in J1. And the S-Poles have a 2-1 advantage. In the case this season that Vissel Kerbeg just can't quite hold on to a lead. We saw all that is good and all that is not so good about them in the last game as the yellow card has been shown to Nishibe for wasting time. In that Grampus game, yes, we saw a team that can score score wonderfully. We also saw a team that can't hold on to a lead. 38 year old in the book. She is from Kobe. And she's our Douglas with a flick on to Takeuchi. very many at all. Just a brief spell in 2012 on loan to Ginovan's Kitakyushu. Any time he spent away from this club. He's grown up following Douglas, provider, goal scorer, the whole range in this game. Also, uh, adjutant of Dangler. Now to Augusto as uh, Furuhashi goes down close to Matsubara.
for it. Very good day indeed, Douglas. Uruhashi didn't wait for Nish to come forward, decided to have a go all on his own for his fourth of the season, J1. Does he make some changes soon? Look as though we're going to see the first change as uh, Musaka is getting ready to come on for the S Pulse. Might actually get uh, Vissel Kobe substitution as well. So Jiro Ogawa is warming up. Here is the goal scored by Douglas from Futami's long and uh, very well placed throw. coaching staff and the boss. We are going to get the first change of the match as uh, Koya Kitagawa, who scored the opening goal, will be replaced by Mitsunari Musaka. Positive day as Kitagawa got his sixth league goal of the season. And on comes Tsunari Musaka for his 13th appearance in J1. Oh, that was a tricky one, wasn't it, for Kim? the expected change with uh, Ogawa replacing Yuta Goke. Kejiro Ogawa who came off the bench and scored in the 87th minute to wrap up the victory for Vissel in the game at home to Nagoya Grampus. He's going to do something similar now. This is his first goal of the season in J1. Stumble. Musaka. Certainly more of a consolidating move for the S Poles to replace. Kitagawa with Musaka. Indeed, uh, the re 
reverse move to take off Gorke and bring on Ogawa. Looks to be uh, pain after an awkward landing. Certainly had some tough exchanges, those two. Concern this. The uh, referee just checking if a stretcher is needed. Dankler being taken off the field of play. Evident discomforts. Tanaka is nearby as well. Leo Osaki getting ready to come on for Dankler as well. Austin Fink just giving instructions to Andres Iniesta to communicate to the rest of the team. And Osaki is uh, ready to come on here. Along with the Tanaka. So lots for the uh, fourth official to process. What we do know for certain is Kyogo Furuhashi is being replaced by Junior Tanaka. It looks as though Dankler is about to come back on. Right, so, well, they handle all of that administrative business after this attack. It's just been handled well by the s defence and the captain. Via. It was a really good chance to play that either to Tanaka or to Wellington. Made it to neither. So no Leo Osaki. Anklo has remained on. He's on the field of play as Nishibe punches away. It's a good, strong leap from Wellington, who might get over the ball. So we've got well clear of Henato Augusto. Now the change that was expected just a moment ago. Shota Kaneko on for Yosuke Kawai. That was the only change made by Yoshiyuki Shinoda from the team that lost to Sagan Tosu. Kawai replaced by the number 30 who does bring some pace and bring some width. really across the midfield as necessary. And he has half a chance to get this away from Yamaguchi. Would have been a huge impact straight away from Shota Kaneko. Career. He's got 
just the one league goal so far this season. Iniesta goes on the diagonal. Asked a lot of Nishi, who was only about a yards away from making that count. Douglas. It's going to be a foul on Matsubara to the annoyance of Wellington. Team equalizing goal to the crucial final stages of what's been a very tight match. Out to Augusto, intercepted by Iniesta. from Villa just a little ahead of Ogawa but he controlled the ball so neatly and with Villa once more Trophies, but he has won. Trying to resell this season after four years of a very successful at New York City. Very good return in MLS in terms of goals and games. Almost 80 goals. Not that much more than 100 games. surprised because he's scored everywhere he's gone. Tanaka, just sit down. jump from Wellington thinks it's a corner certainly would back him wouldn't you in a battle in the air with El Senio was Via and Eko. Kakauchi in some space and for Nishizawa when maybe Matsubara was the better option out wide. Here's Wellington going forward is Junior Tanaka. Via is there. Okawa arriving in the area.
to batter. change left should he wish to use it Torsten Fink well, plenty of players on the pitch for Vissel who are capable of scoring an important goal just being very well met at the moment by Espols attacking chance Ishizawa the obvious target just Malachi take a deflection I to say uh, just didn't make the most of it but it does seem to come off Dankle Senior really uh, a little bit irritated it's well positioned chance that's great play oh he's done very well as Kaneko thrashing around still have possession with the Matsubara looking for Douglas goalkeeper reads it quick restart from Kim now they've got to get back the S pulse for a moment. Time fast running out for the visiting side. Wellington, Iniesta. Keeps the play alive. It's Daigo Nishi. He'll look for the cross. Goes out towards Villa, and what a good cutout that was from who else but El Sino. Second minute change about to happen. Hugo Tatsuta. For El Sino. It's really to uh, hold things at the back for the last moments of the game. A little bit of height as Tatsu to try to get this ball away. It's Renato Augusto to Iniesta who can't control. The referee has a look at the watch. Kim intercepted by Espulse. Akuchi has it. And they may well be safe now. They just keep hold of this ball. Matsubara gives it away. And just about wins it back. To the relief and the joy of the home fans. It's the Espulse who keep possession. Big celebrations at full time if they hold on here. It was always expected to be a pretty tight game. 12th versus 11th in the table. Yes, their 
chance for Vissel to create a meaningful opportunity. Lots of S-Pulse players back because Tanaka has to rethink. Looking for Wellington, leaves it to run for Nishi. Does get his cross in and there arriving was Wellington who knots it over. Good use of the ball from Nishi. Just hasn't quite got his trajectory right with a decent number of headed opportunities, the 31-year-old. and his team back down to earth a little bit. Torsten Fink after the jubilation they felt against Nagoya Grampus. The jubilation is for the home team and he played a massive part, Douglas. It's a very big win for the S-Pulse who are definitely improving as we move into the second half of the season. Goal scored by Koya Kitagawa in the 26th minute. A lead that only lasted three minutes, courtesy of David Villa's equaliser, but Douglas with the winning goal in the 68th minute, meaning that here at the IAI Stadium Nihon Daira, it finishes Shimizu S Pulse 2, Vissel Kobe 1.